What's up guys, it's Virtual Beats coming at you live once again from the simulation and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the ultimate stock vocal chain all right we're not saying vocal preset right we're not you're not gonna we're not we're not saying that here we're not doing no presets here i i hate preset i'm anti-preset anyone that's sub to me in the channel you guys already know and if you don't know i'll link a video up here above my head of why i hate vocal presets you know why i hate these people that try to sell you something all right i go on there i rant you know if you want to hear me rant for a minute or so check that video up all right so I'm going to show you it right now, right here. All right, so this is the vocal chain. We have picture, all right? We auto-tune the vocals. If you have something else, use it. If you have auto-tune, auto-tune pro, anything else, use it. Picture is cool, you know, if it's a last resort, if that's all you got, you know, you don't have them luxuries yet, you know, then use all these stock plugins. But if you have third-party plugins, swap it. You know, I don't want someone to come and sing, I use auto-tune pro and I use these decked out settings and the retune speed, like, okay, that's cool, use it. Not all of us have that luxury, you know? Why do we use picture first? We wanna tune the vocals. After tuning, we use a limiter with a noise gate filter. What is this doing? It's getting rid of background noise that went through the auto tune. Next, we have an EQ, cutting frequencies, an EQ, boosting frequencies, compressor to compress the vocals, and narrow band, this is Maximus, it's a setting, DS or narrow band, and this is DSing it then we have Fruity Reverb and Fruity Delay. So I'm gonna show you why I chose all these things. I'm gonna break down how to actually use anything. This is not gonna be no drag drop instantly good. I'm not gonna oversaturate your vocals. I'm gonna show you how to take something good and fit it to your voice. All right, you don't need any all of these other plugins. With these plugins, these last three, the reverb and the delay and how you EQ and whatever effects you add on them, the layout always stays the same. If you want Jack Harlow style type of vocals, this layout will help you. You want Pierre vocals, it will help you. I'm gonna go break down the process. I'm gonna stop talking now. We're gonna get into it. Tuning the vocals. So if you don't know how to tune vocals, you gotta put the key here and you gotta get the key of the beat. To get the key of the beat, you gotta go to these third party websites. If you don't have a plugin that I'm about to show you right now. Go to these websites. These websites, Google these, you drag in the file and it'll tell you the key of the beat. All right, so what auto key does is you take auto key and it listens to the beat. So we're gonna sell out the beat. I personally like to go into the part where all the instruments are playing. That's the best you know, spot to you know get the key and you just play it. Give it a minute. You know, it, it could, it could, you know, it, it could switch up on you. You just want to listen to auto key. It's saying E flat minor. So what we're gonna do is set that. So we go to picture, E flat minor. So E flat, they don't have E flat on here. So you gotta go to the next one over. So the letter before E is D. So D sharp, and if you need help, you know, like, cause if you use picture and you're like, oh, they don't have this note virtual, boom, here's a chart. You see this chart right here? This chart right here has everything. It tells you if there's E flat, then it goes to D. If there's this flat, then it goes to that letter right here. You can find this on Google and you can change it and get the key. All right, so you got the key, D sharp minor. Now, this right here on picture, Think of this as your retune speed. The higher this number is right here, if you go up, it's gonna be natural. If you go down here, it's gonna be, you know, higher. So if you're doing like a Pierre, really auto-tune sound, 25 Hertz. If you're doing, you know, in the middle, you just play around with this. I chose 55 because if I choose 25, it sounds like this. Let me go ahead and unmute the vocal. And what we're gonna do is mute the beat. Do not play the beat until we get done DSing the vocals, all right? That's a pet peeve I have. How are you supposed to hear the vocal? How are you supposed to hear everything if the beat is colliding? You just wanna hear the vocals and get a clean, clean vocal. And then once you got a clean vocal, turn on the beat, use effects, blend your voice into the beat. So, where are you going? I'm searching for you. The thing you need to know is when you're editing vocals, six, negative six dB right here, this is the sweet spot. So we're gonna turn this down. 
during the whole process of going through all these, we're either gonna turn it up, turn it down, turn it up, turn it down. We just wanna make sure that we end at negative 6B. This is negative 6B, all right? Where are you going? I'm searching for you. It's better than hearing this. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. When it's leveled. Where are you, where are you going? I'm searching for you. Easier on our ears. So next we're gonna add a noise gate. And to show you what a, what a noise gate does, we're gonna have to start the recording from here. Yeah, to get these lines, cause you guys are like, how do you get these lines? It's gonna be on output automatically, out only. So you just click this, you could do generic. The lines are a little bit tiny, but they're still there. Smooth, they're there. And this is to crossfade the audio so it doesn't just cut abrupt. So when you talk, it isn't like it don't cut. It just crossfades smoothly. So noise, the noise gate, this is basically, let me enable this. This is the limiter, fruity limiter. And I'm just going to the noise gate preset. And I'm only messing with this knob. Don't worry about all these other knobs, right? They don't exist. We're just moving this, this right here. So you see that? That is our noise profile. That little stuff right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this up just enough to get over it. You don't wanna go too high because then your vocals are gonna be choppy. You just wanna use this to get rid of the background noise. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we was stuck together like glue. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we was. You don't want to put it on too much. You just want it on as much as you need. All right, don't copy. This is not copying. This is, you know, adjusting to your voice. We all have different voices, different ranges, different pitches, different octave, all that stuff. All right, so we're going to go ahead, you know, in the auto tune, I know I didn't cover like, oh, what about, what about all this other stuff right here? Look, for a quick rundown, this turning format on, controls this you want deeper higher people don't really mess with that i just leave it like that fine tune is you move it over here it's gonna be a little deeper where are you going i'm searching for here you're you. gonna be a little I higher we stuck together like glue. Now if you, you want to fine tune it you can this is like your retune speed knob this all the way down where are you going i'm searching for you i thought we was stuck together like glue now you wanna hide you acting like me trying to figure out what did i do what so we you know adjust that but yeah we got that we got that we got the noise gate next we have an eq you guys are probably gonna flip out like oh my god what is this what's going on relax 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 all right look this eq is cutting frequencies to get this result what's up caleb i'm recording a video right now yo wait hold up hold up hold up let me show you something more important all right bro yep you got some you got some panels man they they showed up just gotta hang them on the wall. Hang them up, but we're trying to figure it out because we have like a, I think they're like concrete or something. The walls or something. Mom's like also just doesn't want the walls to get absolutely fucking destroyed. So we're gonna figure out how to hang these. But for temp, for the temp right now, we're just gonna have the panels here. Okay, bro. I see you, bro. I see you. All right. So what we're gonna do with this EQ is we're gonna reset it to default because you're gonna load up your EQ and it's gonna look like this. When I play the audio, you're gonna see these little lines if you don't have the newest version of fl studio you won't see those lines but you can still hear the same thing so what i do is type high pass why high pass because if you just drag it it's not you know gonna be the same effect high pass is more sharp it's more direct you know all that what you want to do is you take this and you get rid of all the bass nasty throat sounds and you can't do this with the beat so we're gonna play it right here where are you going i'm searching for you and just get rid of all those nasty throat sounds where are you going i'm searching for you i thought we was stuck together like glue boom next we're gonna do is move this two over you know oh that's not the two and then move the three over. Just give these numbers some space, you know, move them over. Don't move the seven, just the two to six. And what you wanna do now is you wanna drag all these colors and make sure I'm not covering it. All right, all these colors, you wanna drag them down. Not purple, not light, uh, dark blue. Just go through these. What you wanna do now, why do you do that? Because if you don't do that and you drag this up, that's when, that's correct. If you have it all the way up, it's gonna take a big chunk of everything up and you don't want that, all right? 
So go ahead and remove that. So why do you want to do this? So we can frequency sweep. We can get the harsh frequencies out of our vocal. You don't really have to do this for high-end microphones. I use the Neumann TLM-102 with a Pro MPA2 preamp. And, you know, I don't really have to do all this. But if you want to, go ahead. If you have low-end mics, I recommend it. And you want to basically drag this up and listen for annoying sounds. But don't pass the one, don't pass the three. Stay in your range. Same for the three. Don't pass the four, don't pass the two. Stay in your range. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this up and listen for the most annoying sound. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we was stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like me. Trying to figure out what did I do? And you can open it, add a little bit more. You see right here at the bottom, I'm adding a little more and it makes it, you know, wider. So anything in here, you know, take more out of it. Where are you going? So we're gonna take that down. Put it right here at negative six and just do that for everything. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. So I'm gonna do a speed run through it. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we was stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like me. Trying to figure out what did I do? Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we was stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like me. Trying to figure out what did I do? Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we was stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you. So yeah, that's what you do, and then you add another EQ after that, and this EQ is the same. It's a high pass. You know, I did the same thing. Three dots and you just boost what you want i usually boost six seven maybe five a little and just you know so subtle just a little bit you know i got rid of more lows more of those nasty throat sounds you know the <clears throat> you know bass tone got that out of there because you don't want it to collide with the 808s or whatever genre that you're doing the bass and that's how you get a clear vocal boost the highs up a little bit you see i just push them up just a little bit you know and it went from sounding like this where are you going i'm searching for you I thought we was stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you. So I might wanna move this back. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. Just to be safe. And yeah, the other one boost it. And then we go into our compressor. So these are my settings. I like to put the gain to 15, my type, ratio. But the thing, you know, you can play around with the attack and release. But the thing I want to change on here is the threshold. And how do you get the threshold? How did I get nine? I'm gonna show you. Go to your empty slot and pull up wave candy. So we got wave candy right here. So what you want to do is click the meter. And if you have a second monitor, it's going to be on your second monitor. You're going to have to drag it up. What you want to do is drag this meter and you're like, do I have to? Yes. All right. This, this is how you find the threshold. All right. We're not guessing numbers. There's some kids that be sitting in these Discord servers like, oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Boom. We're pulling up the meter. Got it right here. Close this. Make sure it's enabled. And when you play it, it's gonna tell you where it's hitting. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. You wanna look at where it's hitting the most. So for me, it was nine. So you can see it sits here the most. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we was stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like me. It's gonna be different for everybody. So I put nine and. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. And what you wanna do is bring this down. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we was stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like me. And there we go. You know, you can play around with the type right here. There's different types, you know, everything in here. I usually do vintage, maybe soft. I like vintage. Medium Mar is good too. Just mess around with it. But yeah, that's how you find the threshold, all right? Don't guess the numbers. And this is why I recommend, you know, third party compressors and plugins because they make it fast and efficient. See, I had to fight and I had to pull up another plugin. Like all these other plugins, it's like three, two buttons and I can easily get the sound. So we don't need Wave Candy, so I'm gonna delete it. And next we do DS Narrowband. So this is Maximus. You go to Presets, DS Narrowband, click that. And I kind of just leave it like that. You can mess with it if you want get more of the s's you use spitfish that's a good free plugin too but i find this works fine for me and um yeah i just leave it like that whatever ds plugin you want to use instead of that go for it but that's what i use and it sounds like this 
Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we were stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like Mew. Trying to figure out what did I do? And you just, you know, you can go back and forth. If you want to go up and you feel like I got to do some more cutting the frequencies, go ahead, go up, go down, mess around with all these settings. If you want to, you know, like, oh, I need more of this, more of that, more EQing. I need to, you know, cut, cut the frequencies more like right here. Go ahead and do that. Just make sure you end at negative 60 B. Next, we can turn on the beat. We're going to turn on the beat. Get rid of all this air stuff. You could get the box cutter tool and you can, you know, go in here and, you know, slice this. If you slice up, it's going to be, you know, a stiff cut. If you hit alt, you could slice from anywhere. So, you know, just a little tip you guys, you know, should know about. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to play it with the beat now. And we have reverb. So what I do for this reverb, it's just default settings. This is, you know, a setting I made. You can mess around you know customize come up with a sound it's good to learn these plugins but a good reverb setting i use i reset the wet turn the dry down and then you see for you it's going to be right here like this and you want to just turn it down you want to turn it all the way down and slowly bring it up because this is your think of this as a wet and dry knob right so if i have it all the way up it's gonna work 100%. So what I like to do is I listen to it, I listen to the beat, and I slowly bring it up to where I feel like it belongs. So this is all your personal preference. Whatever you like, whatever sounds good to you, use that and you'll be good. You see me slowly bringing it up. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we were stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like Mew. Trying to figure out what did I do? Same thing for the delay. These are my delay settings. I like ping pong because it goes to left ear, right ear, left ear, right ear. And this is my level. You can copy these, make your own, go through all the presets that are in here and tweak them and do the same thing for the reverb, you know, just a little bit. You just, you don't want too much, but you want it to, you know, realize it's there. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we were stuck together like glue. Now you want where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we were stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like Mew. Trying to figure out what did I do? Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we were stuck together like glue. Now you wanna hide you acting like Mew. Trying to figure out what did I do? So before and after. Where are you going? I'm searching for you. I thought we were stuck together like glue. Next, I'm going to show you ad-libs, how I do ad-libs. So we got some ad-libs right here. We got these. And these are, they should be dry. Let me just check to make sure. For you. And then where's some right here? Yeah, yeah, what did I do? Uh, yeah, what did I do? So what I do, what did I do for these ad-libs? I got the same thing, all right? So the ignore six, you know, that's that's for a surprise on the video why I got that there. But what I do for the adlibs, you can right click, you know, you go to file, you could save and, you know, you could save this, whatever. So ignore all these things I have on here. And this preset's going to be in the server. This whole project FLP is going to be in the server for you to download, mess around, play with it, etc. But you can, you know, type like uh, this is RMB preset. You know, and it's you can use it for R&B songs. You know, you liked how it sound, and you could save them in there. But what I'm gonna do, what I do for the ad libs is, however I got it sounded on here, I kind of don't want to change too much. So I click and hold this, drag it to the next slot over where my ad libs are at on track five, and now when I play it, yeah, yeah, what did I do? Uh, yeah, what did I do? And all I do for the ad libs, I keep it exactly the same. I go to the second EQ that we use to boost frequencies, and I do the preset on here, the 20 hertz, 18 kilohertz cut, and I box it like this. So anything that's in here is gonna get played. Yeah, yeah, what did I do? Uh, yeah, what did I do? Yeah, what did I do? Uh, what did I do? And then I turn the reverb right here. I turn that up heavily. And then all I do is turn this down. So vocals six and for ad -libs, background voice, double it. We're going to 12 to 15. So that's the range for that. Yeah, 
and you can go into the compressor you know turn up the game more the threshold is going to be different so you can, you know go through it yeah, yeah, what did I do? and together it should sound like this where are you going i'm searching for you i thought we were stuck together like glue now you wanna hide you acting like new trying to figure out what did i do where are you going i'm searching for you i thought we were stuck together like glue now you wanna hide you acting like new trying to figure out what did i do and yeah that's pretty much it for the ad libs you know the ad libs the main vocals that's gonna cover everything but before i end the video i want to show you what these vocals would sound like if they had third party plugins where are you going i'm searching for you i thought we were stuck together like glue third party where are you going i'm searching for you i thought we were stuck together like glue now you wanna hide you acting like new trying to figure out what did i do where are you going i'm searching for you i thought we were stuck together like glue now you wanna hide you acting like new trying to figure out what did i do yeah, you can see clearly there's a difference, you know, but that's really close. That's as close as I got, you know, good vocals with the stock plugins. So if you know any other stock plugins that I'm not aware of personally, you know, drop some stuff in the vocal chain and don't say fresh air. Look, I tried fresh air on the vocals, wasn't hidden. I tried wider on the vocals. I got to do more research on it. But if you know any free plugins, you know, let's build the ultimate vocal chain. All right, together, let's end presets today starting today you know we're going to start the movement of ending these presets all right i'm working on a video exposing these preset people the companies whatever but start today let's start the movement all right let's use stocks and you know build on this and see how far we can go with these you know because these can go crazy but that's gonna wrap it up for the video i know a lot of you guys have been asking me virtual i want a mastering video how do you master i could do mastering with stock plugins, third party plugins, I got you. But I'm gonna need 20 likes on this video for that to happen. So I know you guys can make that happen. You know, we've been growing, steadily growing, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, it's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Remember, I, like I said, join this Discord server that I got in the description. My server is gonna have the FLP, all these presets, etc. And yeah like the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you hating you know because people be hating but my name is virtual beats hope you're having a good night or day and i'm signing out the simulation